Bad ass T Grizzly, nigga. My motherfucking our house was a real trap, dope house. Niggas in that cooking crap, nigga, selling pussy. You go in another room, nigga, cutting up the dope in the basement, nigga. We done seen things OD in the crib. Niggas know what happened at this, nigga. I don't call it the murder match for no reason. This nigga owe you 30,000. It's like, go kill the nigga. Do I let it slide? Do I sit on it? Hold on. Signed to the street. We in the scud zone, nigga. West side, nigga. Joy Road. That's crazy. I used to get get my and that nigga did it cool every time. So, since you did your time shit like that, can you let us know your experience in the dope game? I'ma keep it real, like, it's a lot of water down. And now it's like, it ain't no rules. And it's like, they done locked up all the real niggas. Locked up, so the niggas that's left is the snitches, the snakes, the roaches, the pigs, the rats. And it's like, they infested the game. They done got all the real niggas knocked off the board, and now they controlling it. And they playing it however they want to play it. And it's like, real niggas is, you feel me? They far and few. I hustle because I had to. I can't speak for everybody else. A lot of niggas do it. Oh, I want the watch. I want the chain. Nigga, we literally ain't had no food in the house. Nigga, we ain't had no motherfucking likes. Nigga, we ain't had no heat. Nigga, we had to hustle. Nigga, I had to go hit licks. I had to do all that shit. Like, and I done did it. Got money in the streets. Been to prison. So I could tell y'all niggas the good and the bad. Like, nigga, it's a, it's a trap. Nigga, the game rig, my nigga. Plugs telling. Niggas you selling to telling, the niggas you buying from telling. My OG was on drugs, nigga. We was living in the dope house, nigga. Nigga, ass T Grizzly, nigga. My motherfucking our house was a real trap, dope house, nigga. Niggas in the bitch cooking crack. You go in another room, niggas selling pussy. You go in another room, nigga cutting up the dope in the basement, nigga. We done seen things OD in the crib or a type of house doing six to ten thousand a day, nigga. This our house, nigga. We living in this bitch like 12, 13 years old. We really in like a damn near third world country around this bitch. But niggas is making it because we hustlers. So you said your mom was on dope and shit. How did that affect you and shit? Because you said you hopped into the dope game yourself, though. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. My, my, my mama was the first one put me on. First one gave me an eight ball, taught me how to break it down. It was a half track. Taught me how to break it down, how to sell it. You feel me? I was already a hustler, but she actually showed me the game and how to do it. From what we seen, from living in dope houses and shelters and being homeless, like, that just turned the nigga to a different animal. I ain't gonna lie. That's the that made me, nigga, being in a house with no heat, nigga, no hot water, nigga, taking cold showers in December, nigga, going to school, nigga, don't know if you gonna come home and your shit gonna be on the street and how you gonna make it, how you gonna survive, like, like, this turned me into a different monster, you feel me? Niggas know what happened at this, nigga, I don't call it the murder match for no reason, nigga. Plenty niggas got slumped off, dumped off at this, it's so much shit went down at this, this nigga, it's a landmark, nigga, in the city. So many niggas shoot out, set this. Niggas get robbed, niggas get caught in the driveway. Niggas see all type of wild shit. What make this spot hotter than others? Because it all been going down for years. For years at this bitch. Same time niggas still coming to this bitch. Fuck with McDonald's, do that thing. Good old fashioned Arizona. With the jeans scene getting it, brown niggas. Just on a whole different type of time. A lot of niggas gone right now for that shit too. What was the difference like before the recession and then how did that it changed the hood. Niggas had jobs. Niggas used to have phones doing six, seven thousand, ten thousand a day. You feel me? When the motherfucking factories closed down and them people lost their cribs, that affected everybody. It trickled down from the streets all the way to the dope game. My nigga, niggas was stripping the cribs and they lost it. We gonna take everything out this. And it, you feel me? You see what's left? The coldest of hustlers all in one spot. The coldest of killers. The coldest of everything. And you gotta learn how to maneuver through this. You feel me? And that turn niggas to different animals. You come up with a date. Nigga, or you come up with an amount. I gotta have me a hundred racks. I got two years to get it. Whatever come first, the two years of the hundred racks, nigga, and, and invest in something, do something different. It was like, the, I ain't gonna lie, the hardest was the first 10. That first 10,000 was just like the hardest thing because you gotta understand managing the money. You gotta understand how to stack the money, keep flipping, be consistent, manage the bills. And it was like, once I got past that first 10 and I understood, nigga, this some game for y'all niggas, multiple streams of income. So I ain't just gonna sell this. I'm gonna sell this, this, and that. Now I got this, that, and that. And then you put niggas in position and make money while you ain't there. And that's when I took off. You know? This being Joy Road, you know, the whole world heard that T Grizzly song. Y'all from the same hood and shit. How did that shit hit the city? Man, hit the city and told us up. This, this shit I ain't never seen before in my life. What's so crazy was it wasn't even no club song. And he turned that bitch into a club banger. What's a little funny little story you got from us being in this right here on the murder mag just hanging out whatever i can't even tell you nothing funny at this but i mean shit, I, nigga we done niggas done shut this whole motherfucker down nigga 50 man brawl out around this you feel me man niggas used to leave cody and, and, and niggas used to we used to call it green light nigga get green light you walk around this don't nobody know you you're getting your issue you want no walking around 
Bitch, from here to Warren, nigga, niggas new. So shit, what about an out of town nigga like me that's just trying to move smart, nigga, you know, nigga just want some gas or shit, how nigga survive out here? Man, you get your gas, you keep it moving. <laughs> <laughs> you feel me? You want that other shit sightseeing, it's a different type of starvation around this shit. So it's like, and you green, you don't know what the fuck going on, you run right into some shit. My advice, get your gas, keep it moving. And you said this was your old house right there too? Yeah, I own that the first cribs I bought when I was when I was 19 when I first started getting some real paper I bought this month you feel me I lost it during my indictment and shit. if you don't mind me asking when did you get indicted for I got indicted for conspiracy to distribute oxycodone pills blues percocet perk 30s you feel me a case out of Kentucky you know what I mean mm -hmm. yeah I've been home a year now you feel me yeah how long were you down for yeah 48 months in federal prison I bought another one a few blocks over and I and I'm telling you nigga I go out of town for a week I come back niggas broke in and Stole the stove, stole the refrigerator. And then every other week, they still in the dough, they still in this, they still in the copper. It's like, you gotta be in these when you buying them in the hood, cause niggas gonna take as soon as you put it in. Like I told you when I was 19, right? Before I bought a Roly, before I bought a chain, before I bought my first foreign car, nigga, I bought two cribs, my nigga. Before I bought all that boot, I bought the right shit. The shit with the fast money also come consequences and dangers with this Yeah, hell yeah. Like I ain't gonna lie to you, like in the game, it's like the same nigga that you can run up 100,000, 500,000, you feel me? It'll be the same nigga that'll slam you out. It be a lot of slick competing. It be a lot of dick handling niggas be, oh, this nigga got the back. We all gonna gravitate to this nigga, but we really don't like this nigga. And it be just like, you gotta deal with these snake, skitchy ass niggas because they in the same enterprise business you in. It's like my cousin, Free Chino, Free Chingy. 20 years, came home from just doing 11 in the state. Being 100 with niggas, ran up, damn near half a ticket, 600,000, nigga only home 18 months, nigga. And the same niggas he was dealing with lined him up. Swapped him out, get out of jail free card, my nigga. Bro, just did 11. He ain't seen his kids 11 years. Just came home and got tricked off the streets. You feel me? And it's like, those are things, even the losses. So say a nigga owe you 30,000. It's like, go kill the nigga. Do I let it slide? Do I sit on it? I've been in the streets my whole life, so I can see a play getting put down a mile away. I can feel it, the vibration, the, the energy. I know when something ain't right. I know when a nigga ain't right. You know what I mean? But that's something you only can learn from being in the streets your whole life, feel me? And when you a good nigga in the streets and your name is, is credible and solid, good niggas is gonna gravitate to you. Good plugs, good situations. So all oh, that run off on a plug, lame ass shit, shit, trash. Niggas run off with the plug, got bullets in their head right now, you feel me? Or got bullets in their family head because of the bullish dumb shit they did, my nigga. Standing on business, being a hundred, nigga, that shit lasts more than all this shit, cause guess what? When the dope game gone, and you want to transition, you want to pivot, that same nigga you was getting money with might own restaurants, own buildings, might got opportunity and say, hey, bro, we doing this in real estate. Hustle, come on in. We gonna put this, to, we gonna put you in the loop. And just being a good nigga, like all that slime ball shit, that's for the birds. Like before I got indicted, nigga, unk OD. Nigga, this before niggas was even hit with the Fetty and all that shit. Now like, unk nigga literally was gone, nigga. We had to bring this nigga back, put him in the shower, ice, all type of shit. So nigga. take us back to that day. We coming from OT, we make a stop. I don't do his thing, I don't judge nobody. We touched down that, that's where that shit heavy at. And he took a little too much. And nigga, he was in the crib talking. Next thing you know, boom, he fall out. He gone, nigga, eyes back his head. We ain't gonna go to the, uh, the hospital police. So we shoot to my uncle crib. We throw him in the shower. We go get ice, ice cold water. He in and out. We smacking him, keeping him up, just so he don't go out. You feel me? He was in that bitch two hours trying to get there. I'm soaking wet, trying to bring this nigga back. And I'm kind of sick, cause I'm like, damn, I don't want my uncle to go out like this. Brought him back finally. After he kind of came back halfway, we took him to the hospital. He been in the ice cold water so long, the bitch said, damn, sh she like, what the fuck was you outside in the snow? You know what I mean? They had to put him in a whole little thing and get him back together. It's a lot of shit that I ain't gonna lie, I can't speak on. That's just too real, you know, for TV. But understand, niggas done seen it all. Talk about the mindset you had to have to overcome that go to the feds, do your time, do it, there's losing all these people. And was it worth it when it was all said and done? I mean, I'm gonna be real with you, right? The way it all played out, I ain't like it. But prison probably was the best thing happened to me. Cause it allowed me to see who was really with me and it allowed me to see who wasn't with me. It taught me that nigga love got an expiration date on it. Motherfuckers that love you to death, but nigga, you don't even know that shit got a date. And it's like, when you at your lowest, like prison the closest thing to death. You experience your own funeral. Who gonna be there for your kids if you was gone? Who gonna keep your name alive when you gone? And, and who really fuck with you? And it's like, damn, like when you go through that shit, put a different hunger in you. That's why you see niggas come home from the feds and take off 
Cause when you at the bottom, ain't nothing left but the top, my nigga. And it can break you if you're a weak-minded person. Or you gotta have some type of spiritual foundation. You gotta educate yourself in some type of way. You gotta want better for yourself, nigga. Mind, body, soul, my nigga, and shit. You gonna be all right. But it, I done see the break, niggas. Nigga got freak, nigga. Nigga know he had a freak. She on the phone, stressed out with the bitch. Then made the nigga lose his hair, go gray. Nigga, but you bought the bitch. What you think she doing now? She going to the next nigga with the money. And it's like, I done seen niggas be hurt because the closest nigga to him done portrayed him. And niggas done lost everything. Like, it can break you. But you gotta find that thing and you just gonna, they don't give you the will to survive and to overcome that shit because it only make you stronger.